job. Mm. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if it pertains to any of you ladies and gentlemen, but I was wondering if you did have an opinion about prisoner of wars. The, the TV show. Yeah. Or, or you don't know about the prisoner of wars? No, I, prisoners of war. No, no. The well, show. Is, yes, of course we know the show. Hatuvim. I would, I would like to know your opinion about that. If it was well uh, taken in America, if they liked it here, and uh, do, you, do you mean the remake, the Homeland version, or the Hebrew language version that's airing? The on Hebrew Hulu? language. Well, the Hebrew language version is airing on Hulu, Hulu I believe. Who have just renewed it, I think, for like a third cycle. Yeah. Um, so I know they're super happy with it and the way it's performed on their service. And obviously, Homeland has opened a ton of doors. I mean, it's an Emmy winning show. That was I think Prisoner of War was the, at the time, the most, well, it became the most uh, successful format because Homeland came out of it. I think I represent the, the creator and the oh. director and the writers. Same it's person. Fabulous, so fabulous I, show. I think it's fantastic, actually. Actually. Mm. <coughs> I urge people to watch it who have watched Homeland and haven't watched it. And it's different and it's really compelling. It's a, it's a show that everyone should see. Yes, and just I, anecdotally, by the way, the first two seasons yes. in Israel cost less to make than the pilot to Homeland. Really? So just to put things in perspective about what we can... Any other questions? Thank you. My question would be, um, does producers and creators of Israel have a sense of responsibility for the narrative and the optics of the content that's coming out of Israel? Yeah. Do we have a sense of responsibility? Only to our audience at home. I don't think any of us, um, just the way it comes across internationally? Yeah, uh, uh, that, exactly. That's a big, uh, that's, no. No, I think we try to make great television. <laughs> you just want to make good television for Israel. If it Well, one of the things I like about Farida is the fact that there's two perspectives of, mm -hmm. of the storytelling. So that's one of the things I wanted to talk about when I say that question. I, th I think for Fauda, certainly, and I can speak a little bit from that perspective, and so can Sachi, um, we never went out to make a show that was going to make Israel look well and fair and balanced to the world. We were looking to make a show about something that hasn't been seen before and uh, to tell a story and a narrative that came from a very personal space. And Sachi, I don't know, I know your background is a little bit similar to some of the characters, if you wanna, but it, it certainly wasn't something that's supposed to show um, Israel as a well-balanced, two-faceted kind of nation. It was a story that came out from Avi and Lira's experience as undercover soldiers and Sachi, I kind of know that you've got similar background. Or do we not talk about it? So if I can, 
Also, I can add the uh, choreos uh, outside. I had a short interview and they asked me if I worried about the situation of Israel because uh, the project is about the Mossad, about the operation, about the undercover operation. If we give, maybe we give uh, bad ideas to the enemies, etc. So, as we said, we are looking for the good and the interesting story. And I told him that it can be calm because the intelligence and the opposite of the bad guys and the good guys, I can, you know, they are much better than the creators. So <laughs> we need to follow their imagination to, to do a project like Mossad 101. Uh, there is no connection between this and reality and, and facts that uh, what happens with the uh, intelligence. So no worry. I think that the uh, TV project has a limit influence, especially before countries and before nations. When Most are two more questions? Time. You and you. <laughs>